Hey everybody, Derek here from Badgerland Birding. I just wanted to let everybody know that we do actually have an ivory build woodpecker update. Unfortunately, it's not clear photos or clear videos, but it's actually something the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service uh, just released on July 6th. So the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service initially proposed the ivory bill woodpecker be declared extinct with some other species, and then experts and other people weighed in on whether they thought this was a good idea or not. And the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service decided to give a six-month extension for the final date uh, of when they're going to make a decision on if they are going to declare that they think the ivory bill woodpecker is extinct or not. Whether they make this declaration, it doesn't actually change whether the bird still exists or not. It's just what they think, and it, it could maybe affect some management decisions. Whether it would or would not is kind of up for debate or how much it would really affect that. But a lot of people have been way, weighing in on this, so I wanted to kind of just go through their statement real quick and uh, let you guys know what was happening. So this was from July 6th. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service said this. They are also reopening the public comment period for 30 days. So people can weigh in. And it says, on September 30th, 2021, the service published a proposed rule to remove 23 species from the federal list of endangered and threatened wildlife of threatened wildlife and plants due to extinction. Their proposal included the charismatic ivory-built woodpecker and was based on the best science available at the time. Service held a requested public hearing on January 26, 2022 on the proposal to delist the ivory-built woodpecker. The service carefully considered information submitted during this public hearing, uh, the 60-day public comment period associated with the proposed rule, and the 30-day public comment period associated with the hearing. So recognizing substantial disagreement among experts regarding the status of the species, the service is extending the deadline to allow for additional time to review information. So basically what they're looking for is for people to now submit any kind of clear photo or video evidence. So if any additional stuff has been obtained, now they're saying we want we want all that. But if you submitted stuff already, it seems like they don't want you to, to submit it again if you submitted it for the original batch. So let's take a look here. The service is seeking new information during the 30-day reopening, including clear video or photographic evidence. So they're totally disregarding any kind of audio evidence, which is interesting, because I always think people disregard the audio when that's always one of the things I'm like, well, what's making these apparent ivory build woodpecker calls? But anyways, they're looking for clear photo or video evidence of the presence of the ivory build woodpecker that can repeatedly be interpreted the same way by independent observers. So they don't want just one team saying this is an ivory build, another team saying no, it's not. They want it to be very clear that everyone's in agreement. This is an ivory build woodpecker we're looking at. Um, such as definitive photographic evidence collected by a field observer. Comments provided during the initial proposal and the previous reopening do not need to be resubmitted. So the reopening of the 30-day public comment period on the proposed rule that published September 30th, 2021 will publish in the Federal Register on July 7th, 2022, and they will accept comments received or postmarked on or before 11.59 p.m. August 8th, 2022. Information on how to submit comments is available at www.regulations.gov um, by searching under the docket number, which they listed in the article as well, which I will link to in the description of this video. So that is the big news announcing the six month extension. So what does this mean? Uh, it might not mean anything. There might not be any clear photo or video evidence that people provide and they might still declare that they think the ivory billed woodpecker is extinct. As of now, they haven't made that declaration. A lot of articles falsely said that the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has declared the bird extinct, um, which wasn't true. They actually didn't. They just proposed it. And now they're extending that and opening it up for people to submit their photos and videos. So if you have clear photo or video evidence of ivory build woodpecker still existing, please submit. You can also send it to us to check out at um, badgerlandbirding at gmail.com. We're always open to look at that. A lot of the times people submit images of the very similar looking pileated woodpecker or like a red-headed woodpecker or just another woodpecker species. So make sure that you're doing your research and that you actually have something that is an ivory build woodpecker or, you know, is arguably an ivory build, uh, something that's appropriate to send uh, to them and to us as well. So exciting news. We'll see if it changes anything. It might or might not. Again, whatever the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service thinks doesn't necessarily change. Well, it doesn't change at all what is uh, extinct or not extinct. It's just their perception of, of what they think. 
uh, but it could affect management in the future, so it could be important. If you feel very strongly about this, let us know one way or another in the comments. I know it's always a very polarizing topic, but thanks so much for watching and listening. Uh, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, like the video, share with your friends if you enjoy what we do, and we will see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.